This is how to use motion guides in the shape tool to control the path of your animation in Adobe Animate. All right, so as you can see, I have three layers, the stars in the background, the Death Star in the middle, and Baby Vader with the Death Star balloon right here. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually gonna hide the stars so we can see what we're doing. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to the Vader layer and then click this box with a plus to make a new layer. We're gonna name this one Shape Guide. And on that layer, we're gonna go up to our Shape tool. So I'm gonna use the oval right here. If you right click, you might see rectangle, something else. If you don't see the Shape tool, then click on these three little dots right here and find the shape tool and bring it in. It'll be right here. Once you have your shape selected, you're gonna go over to properties and click on tool. Make sure that there's no fill, so click on this. And if you have a color in there, just select this little box right here, no fill. And then make sure your stroke is really small, like one and the style is a straight line. Okay, then you're just gonna draw the shape. So I'm just gonna make a, an oval, like a circle around the Death Star right here, like that. Next, I'm gonna right click on the shape guide layer and click on guide. Then I'm gonna take Vader and I'm gonna slide him in like this. So there's this little black line with a little white circle. Make sure it's indented like this and let go. Then we're gonna go up to our free transform tool right here, click on that, and we're gonna move Vader into place. So you can see this little white circle right here. This little white circle is what we're gonna line up. That's the pivot point. We're gonna try and, if you see as you move it close to the circle, it's gonna suction cup to the circle. Place it on the far left over here. Next, we're gonna go down to our timeline and set the end point of our animation. But we're gonna choose a number that can be easily divisible by four. So I'm just gonna put 60 right now. So I'm gonna click on the top one, drag down. Then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click on insert keyframe. If you don't see this one, right click, you might see one of these ones. So click on keyframe, that's gonna put them in right here. Then on the Vader layer, we're gonna click in the middle here, right click, and go up to create classic tween. Now, the reason why I said pick a number that's easily divisible by four is because we're gonna break this up into four movements, one from here to the bottom, from the bottom to the right, from the right to the top, and then the top back to the start. Because if we just go to the end here and set this point like a little bit up like this and we watch it, it's not gonna go all the way around. It's just gonna move up a little bit. So we have to tell it which direction to go. So I'm gonna leave that one right there for now, that's fine. And 60 divided by four is 15. So I'm gonna go to frame 15. I'm gonna put a keyframe and I'm gonna move Vader to the bottom right here and suction cup him to the line. So. It looks like it's not, oh, there it is. Now it's suction cupping to the line right there. Now when we watch this part, it's gonna move from the left to the bottom, but then watch, it's gonna go back to the start because that's the closest point. It's not gonna keep going all the way around. So then next we have to go to frame 30, hit another keyframe right there, and then move this to the far right to make sure the dot suction cups to the line right there. Now when we watch again, it's gonna go from there to there to there, but it's still, oh, it's gonna keep going. So if it does that, you're pretty much done. But I'm gonna click on 45, hit a keyframe there, and just make sure. I'm just gonna move it over a little bit just to make sure. So it's going all the way around, and there you go. That's how you make a path to go around the Death Star. Now, the only issue here is that as it goes around the bottom here, this is fine, it's going in front, but if it goes up top here, it should go behind the Death Star, right? If it's kind of orbiting around, that's an easy fix. All you have to do is go to your top layer, add a new layer up at the top, and I'm gonna call this Death Star 2. Then we're gonna go to our original Death Star layer, go to frame 31 right here, and we're gonna eliminate everything from 31 to 60. So I'm gonna go from 60 all the way to 31, and I'm gonna right click and just go up here to remove frames. Okay, then I'm gonna go to the first frame right at the start here, right click, copy frames, then I'm gonna go to my Death Star 2, right to frame 31, right click, and paste frames. So now, this one, since it's at the top, is gonna be in front of everything else, 
So now when we watch it, it's going to go in front of the Death Star right there. But then as it goes up to the top here, now we have a new Death Star that's in front. So as it goes here, now it's going to go behind the Death Star. So it goes around and around like that. Now a couple other things you might want to do is mess with how this object is behaving as it rotates or orbits around. So two things you can do, you can click on each of these keyframes and or even add more now and just kind of go to the corner as long as you're on free transform and kind of rotate each of these around. So as it gets to this side over here, you can kind of rotate it and then rotate it here. I personally wouldn't do anything to this last one because it's got to match the first one over here. So if we watch that, it's going to look a little bit different. He's going to kind of float around a little bit. So you can do it like that. And or you can click in between and then go over to properties down to tweening and you can click orient to path. That might make it sway a little bit too, but you have to do that in between each one. So if I click here, orient to path, click here, orient to path, click here, orient to path. So let's see what difference that made. So now it goes and it kind of does the same thing, just kind of sways a little bit more. Oh, and I almost forgot, you're also going to want to go to this second keyframe right here, the one where Vader is in the front at the bottom on your free transform tool and make him a little bit bigger. So you're going to want to hold shift, go to the corner. So you have like the double arrow and just expand him out a little bit because he's in the front. And then you're going to want to go to the fourth keyframe, this one right here, the second from last one, where he's behind the Death Star right here. Hold shift, go to the corner and shrink this one down a little bit to make it smaller. So now when we watch it, he'll actually get smaller as he goes further away and larger as he gets closer to us. At this point, the only thing we have left to determine is how fast the orbit is going to happen. So for me, this one's happening a little bit too fast. So I'm going to click in between these two keyframes and drag down. So I've selected all of the layers and then I'm just going to hit F5 for as many frames that I want to add in between. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I do the same thing between each of these sections here. So I do it again here to add 10 there, and then here, and then at the end as well. That'll put more space in between each of the keyframes, slowing the animation down. Which makes sense in this case, because it's supposed to be a Death Star balloon. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll catch you next time.